all oh, right, just going to do a video response to EF Dalva. Their uh, thing I had, the, the kind of little debate I had with them about, you know, who is Jude? You know, is he the brother of, of James and also the brother of Jesus? Well, why isn't it mentioned in the Gospels? I'm going to answer that question because I it caught me by surprise. So let me just answer it uh, right now in this video. So first of all, is Jude the brother of Jesus Christ? Well, Jude is the, was the half-brother of Jesus Christ. That is why in Jude, in Jude chapter 1 verse 1, it says he is a brother of James, okay? Because James is the brother of Jesus Christ, but Jude is the half-brother of Jesus Christ through being the brother of James. And I'll explain why that is in the scriptures. Jude chapter 1 verse 1, Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. So he's a brother of James, but uh, I also want to point out as well, just a little side note, that the Apostle Jude is distinct from Judas Iscariot. Uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 13 to 16. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom he, whom, whom he named apostles, Simon, whom he also named Peter, Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Bartholomew, sorry, uh, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the son of Zelotes, Zelotes, hope I'm saying that right, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. John chapter 14, verse 22. Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, O Lord, uh, how is it that will how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? So, the apostle Jude is not the same person as Judas Iscariot. Just wanted to point that out as a little side note. But he's the half brother of Jesus Christ, and reason why that so is because Jesus was the only child of Mary who was conceived by the Holy Ghost while she was a virgin. Matthew chapter one verses eighteen to twenty one. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to have her a public, not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Uh, but while he thought of these things, on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not, to take thee take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Now this is the fulfillment of the prophecy in Isaiah chapter four, uh, 7 verse 14 and Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. But she was conceived, he was conceived by the Holy Ghost as she was a virgin. But after Mary got a spouse to Joseph and was no longer a virgin after the virgin birth, she had other children. She had four boys and at least two, two uh, girls. So at least six children. But they were not directly conceived by the Holy Ghost like Jesus was. That's why Jude is the brother of James and half-brother of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 13, verses 55 to 56. Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? Hath this man all these things? So he has brothers, he has at least four brothers and two sisters. Refutes the Roman Catholic lie of the perpetual virginity of Mary. Also, you can see Psalms chapter 69, verses 8 to 9, where it talks about my mother's children. And David is a typology of a New Testament Christian and also the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 1, verses 13 to 14. And when they were come in, and when they were come in, they went up unto an upper room, where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew and Philip and Thomas, Bar Bartholomew and Matthew and James the son of Alphaeus and Simon Zel 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 Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and in supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. Notice something in that verse there. Notice how verse 14 separates Jesus from his brethren. It says, 
his you know Jesus Christ and you know comma and his brethren because Jesus was not created in Mary's womb okay he already existed prior this pre-carnation appearance of Jesus Christ a good example of this is in Daniel chapter 10 verses 5 to 12 Jesus Christ appears in his glorified body to prophet Daniel the uh, prophet Daniel and of course he has the same reaction that the Apostle John does in Revelation chapter 1 verses 10 to 17 and the Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 9. Mary only conceived his physical human form, but he was already he already existed prior to that. The pre-incarnation you can call it. John chapter 1 verses 1 to 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. There are seven references in the Word of God to the capital W, Word of God, and all of it is referring to Jesus Christ. When you read the context, it's always referring to Jesus Christ, the capital W, Word of God. Okay? John chapter 1, verse 14. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Sorry to all the Catholics out there. Mary is not full of grace. Jesus Christ is the one who's full of grace. But the Word was made flesh. Okay, He existed in the beginning with God. He was made flesh when Mary was conceived of the Holy Ghost. But he did not. He, he was always existing prior to that. Galatians chapter 4, verse number 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. So, Jesus Christ was sent forth a woman, made under the law. But he always, he's already existed. Because if God is going to send forth his son for that to happen, he would have had to have existed prior to that. First uh, Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And there's so many scriptures I can, scriptures I can cover. This is just a few of them. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received er, and received up into glory. And Romans chapter 8, verse 3. For what the law could not do, it was in that it was it was weak through the flesh god sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh for and for sin condemned sin in the flesh so what's going on is that jude chapter 1 verse 1 says jude is the brother of james because jude was the half brother of jesus christ via being the brother of james but jesus is often made distinct from his brethren that mary had after the virgin birth that's why he's called the brother of james because he's the half brother of jesus christ but the brother of james in a sense that Mary gave birth to both him and James, but they're the brother of Jesus Christ in that sense of they have the same mother in physical form, but Jesus Christ, as I show in the scriptures, has, has always existed pre-incarnation. So he's only the half-brother of Jesus Christ, but he is the brother of James. And hopefully that answers the question to the Muslims over at EF Dawa. He's the half-brother of Jesus Christ, but he's the physical brother of James. It's the mystery of godliness, by the way. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, but he's always existed prior to that. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, this is my response to EF Dawa. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.